organization is here today at KQED to protest against BETA, the BETA board of directors' recent decision to terminate the Mission Community Television Series, Mission at 24th Street. Further, we are here to dramatize our concern that while the Mission at 24th Street series ends this week, the BETA board to date has refused to negotiate in good faith with the, with the MCO to continue producing and airing this highly regarded community project. By way of introduction, the Mission Community Program, Mission and 24th Street Series, is a concept developed by Mission Media Arts to train Mission youth and young adults without survival skills to become television and film professionals. By having them produce television shows and films that are of value and of interest to third world audiences in the Bay Area and specifically to the Mission District community. Three years ago, when Mission Media Arts was conceived of and organized, we had little knowledge of media. The idea then was to impact the media industry with a street consciousness and consequently involve unaffected third world youth and young adults from the mission in some existing and purposeful life work. We knew that more third world people were needed to be involved in changing their media image. We knew that young people existed in the streets that had revolutionary consciousness and wanted to help in the struggle of third world people everywhere, but whose energies were being ripped off by dope, jail, and confusion. The organizers of Mission Media Arts saw in film and video a street therapy that could re-energize our youth to deal effectively with the problems they lived in the midst of and in their communities. Electricity, optics, and audio, essential elements of film and video would become extensions of nervous systems, ears, and eyes. Young people failed by institutional educational systems and without effective writing skills would be and have become articulate communicators through the use of these mediums. To date, Mission Media Arts via the Mission and 24th Street series has been serving the mission community by producing shows that relate to the needs, aspirations, and hopes of our community. The topics of the shows produced thus far include drugs, media, police, welfare, art, nutrition, youth, education, housing, and the La Raza, the Filipino, and the black communities at large. Mission Media Arts came to KQED three years ago with high hopes. Community television would materialize in the Bay Area soon. Where better than shining an appropriate edifice of public television, Bay Area Educational Television Association, KQED. Mission Media Arts came to KQED at, when, at a time when KQED had not, of its own volition, produced television shows that related to non-white and non-middle class audiences. Today, the painful facts remain. The following are only examples of the blatant abuse Beta KQED has made of community television. One, less than 5% of KQED's airtime is spent on minority programs. Mission 24th Street, Seoul, Black Journal, and Ready or Not take up three and a half hours of airtime. KQED spends more airtime on yoga, French chef, and blindfolded chess. Yeah. World Press, a half hour weekly news show, costs over $82,000 annually. This compares to $72,000 annually for all minority and community program at KQED. We believe that the racial minority communities of the Bay Area must demand correction of these abuses, and this is why we are here today. The MCO wants and expects the production and telecast of the Mission at 24th Street series to continue on Channel 9 and to continue to serve the mission community. We demand that Beta resume negotiations in good faith with Mission Media Arts by Wednesday noon, April 4th, 1973, or we will take further action. Media for and by the people, all power to the coalition. We are, we are given KQED a deadline. The deadline is April the 4th. 
if MCO, and if media art doesn't have a response from KQED, the community is going to come as twice as much or three, ti three times as much as we came today. Okay, I uh, just want to continue on really quickly along and have a brief statement from each person in here that's involved in the struggle. Uh, next to me, as I said before, is Manny Lares. He's an old friend of ours, somebody that we work very closely with. He is also on the board of directors of Bay Area Educational Television Association, KQED. And we'd like him to say a few words about his feelings about the board, and he's a member, and what his feelings are at this point. Well, I just think that it's uh, really a shame that after three years of struggling uh, with the media in San Francisco that uh, the media still can't understand that the uh, minority community has become aware of what media is and what it does and what it has done, uh, not only to the uh, mission community, but to all minority communities uh, in San Francisco and throughout the country. I think that uh, it, it is time that uh, the stations, uh, particularly uh, Channel 9, begin to uh, understand and recognize that uh, we are aware that uh, we're not going to go away. Right. Uh, next person I'd like to have say a few words is Michael Moreno. He's from the Mission Media Arts Training Program. Well, all I have to say, uh, I'm a representative from the youth of the Mission Media Arts Program. And we the, we, the youth of the Mission Media Arts Program, are demanding KQED to renew our contract uh, of our of our mission in 24 series so we can further our knowledge in television and the technology of television all power to all all third world communities uh, next to next speaker certainly not least is our, our brothers from Western Edition. We have recently formed, trying, beginning to form an alliance with another group, community group, that wants to come into KQED. And we are now in the process of making that alliance, and we expect to be working together from here on in. So we're going to change, we're going to find some way that we can come together and have a common name so it won't be Mission Media Arts anymore. Uh, Arnold Townsend from Western Edition. Thanks a lot, Ray. Uh, First of all, let me just say in addition, we call it the Fillmore Downtown, they call it Western Edition. Um, and secondly, we're demanding the KQED do no more for the third world communities in this city, Fillmore, Hunters Point, uh, Chinatown, and the Mission, than they're doing for yoga and French cooking. Not that we're opposed to those, but we don't see yoga and these things as meeting our needs. The reason we put these demands on KQED is because they go under the guise of public television. We see ourselves as being the public. We see, our, we see ourselves as being uh, representatives of what we call the public. So that we think that we make this demand, when we make this demand, we have sound calls. Um, uh, we see this as KQED's responsibility in terms of meeting people's needs. And if they want to see how these needs are being met, all they have to do is do a poll of minority communities and see how many people watch that show and then they'll have an idea of uh, how they're relating. The minority community watches Soul, they watch the, uh, they watch the uh, Black Journal, they watch Mission in 24, and they watch the Teach Show, and that's it. They don't watch the other stuff, because I know they watch less of it than I do, and I certainly don't watch the other stuff. Racist shows such as uh, Search for the Nile. Black people found the Nile uh, some thousands of years before whoever these cats were. They went over there from Britain insulting folks. We think that shows such as that is absurd, especially when there's no balance. So we say clearly we see this as our struggle. It's just merely that in this situation, Mission Media Arts and the Mission Community is bearing the brunt of the repercussion. But this is a third world struggle, and we say that we want to negotiate, and we want television. Documentary producing anything like that? You mean from the program itself? Yeah, well you say it's a work training program. Well, it's a community training program. In other words, we're not, uh, we've been in existence for three years, two of them, uh, two of them, the great amount of part, have had to do with television. What we're doing now is we're educating our community, and we're using the people in the program to do that. They're not, they're not ready yet to go into the industry. They will go into the industry with that experience, but we're saying that right now we're educating community senior citizens, you know, people with health problems, uh, drugs, 
uh, police, all the things that we've been mentioning. We want to work with those groups of people and turn media on to them, let them be able to use it. Uh, Ray, if I could, just on that question, because it's real important. In both our program, in the Fillmore District program, and the Mission District, uh, we support our people going into the what they call the established media. That's fine, that's desirable. But we also want to make it perfectly clear, if I can paraphrase the president, that that's not our only concern. We see nothing wrong with having people that we would call experts being based in the community mm -hmm. and staying in the community to train and work. And, you know, when we say that we just want a forum to produce it, that's what we're talking about. Okay, okay. and now, okay, I have a question. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Ray, I'd like you to comment on the offer that I'm told Richard Moore has made, not only Mission Media, but other minority groups, the so-called Open Studio, budgeting $145,000 for production work. Is that the case, and B, what's your reaction to it? Oh, I, I don't have much reaction to it. I don't really understand it. You know, I think that what it, what it has... Well, they have not offered this to you? Um, not directly. They haven't offered it to us. And I'm not sure that that's what we're interested in. We're interested in community uh, training. We're not interested in minority training. There's a difference. We're interested in developing our community and bringing the resources directly back to our community by having a TV show on that, on the two of us here. But as I understand it, aside from what your interpretation is, you would have programs on the two. Uh, that's what I'm told oh, by see, Richard Moore. Um, no. It, it, yeah, but that's not the trick, man. We want training. I mean, what they're presenting, oh, we're asking for a complete training program. It has enough, it, uh, having the airtime is not enough. In other words, that there being the airtime is not enough. We still have people with families. We have people who are committed to doing this work, and they have families, and they have other interests besides working 12 hours a day that they like to spend a little money on. We want to have the full resources of that station to do the community program. In other words, why should we have to come after with who doing another job or another uh, bit of work that we're doing come and do TV shows for the station? We want them to pay for that. That's what the station is about, in our interpretation. We want the studio to come to the community. Yeah, that's, that's another thing, is that open studio process doesn't allow the, uh, the, what we believe should be, and that is what Mike was saying, that the community should go, the studio should go out to the community rather than the community come to the studio. You say, Ray, a number of people should be on the station payroll. complicated process that I'm going to simplify it. It sounds like yeah. you're asking for a sum of money. Not we want, we want the community, production. we want the community involved in all aspects of the station. In all aspects? Right. How would that be?